What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really good one. We're talking about the scan disk flash drives. I've gotten a lot of questions about them not working with certain things and they don't work with certain things as well, but I definitely want to bring that information to you. And I think they're a good product. I'm not sponsored by them at all or anything like that. I wish, but I uh, definitely wanted to uh, bring this to you and I didn't see a lot of videos on it So it's gonna be a tutorial and also some information. It's not gonna be like specs on how fast the cards are and stuff It's more of a tutorial on how to get it hooked up how to get it working and how you can actually transfer that information So thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest reviews. If you've never tuned in to, to my channel Just know I'm here to help. I'm here to give you information as easy as possible Leave some links in case you're interested in the products and if I can help one person then I'm, I'm doing my job. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let's continue to grow the Martini Nation. Let's hit 5,000 subscribers. And what I wanted to talk about today is the iExpand flash drive here. You can see iExpand. Now these work really good with the older devices. Anything with the lightning still on your iOS device, your Apple device, they work super awesome. They, they also work with Android devices with the USB Type-C, but with the app, it's really really works really well so i want to show you that all right so i have this older device here and i definitely want to show you the app here just you just search your you're gonna to have to go download it at the app store but is the i expand and you just look up i expand and it should pop up like that and then we'll just click on it here it'll start loading up looks just like that very good app as well uh, we'll show you that so then it's going to tell you to go ahead and plug in your I expand device so notice this is an older one but it will work with the new ones that I just showed you but it works better for this app with this so I'll go ahead and plug this in and once I plug it in it's going to start bringing up the content that's on it and see it's working uh, it's asking me for a review but I don't want to do that right now phone so it tells you your phone how much space is on the left on your phone how much space is left on the actual app and then if you want to copy files you just go to copy files or you can view the files you can back up and restore it will literally back up and do it all on its own if you just hit back up and restore it'll send all your pictures and any files that you want to that and and it'll keep them as a backup it's really really easy to use it's a very very cool app actually but mostly for pictures and miscellaneous data I'm not gonna back up the full iOS and those types of things but it will back up your photos if you have some music files it can do that uh, but basically for photos and videos so music it's not gonna get into your iTunes or anything but if you have like mp3 files it would save things like that but a very, very cool app. Very, very easy to use. Like I said, it's as simple as uh, if you want to copy files, it's asking if you want to copy files from your iPhone or copy files from the expand drive. And then you would just click, yes, I want it. It'll show you all your folders. And then you can literally uh, go, that's an empty file. If I wanted to copy this one file, I would just hit it. And then it'll say, do you want to copy to the iPhone? You say yes, and boom it's copied to your iPhone it'll go to that your files or it can go to your your uh, photos as well so very very easy very cool app and it works very good now if I unplug this it's still gonna load that app and this still works and I can still go and I can still view everything on my phone it has a video player you can see all the photos on here you can see your playlist and like I said you can go to your files as well so I do like that about it, that it's an easy way to plug in and you can listen to music off of it if you have MP3 files. Um, so it's a great little app that has a lot of things to it. You know, like I said, you can watch videos. So if you, if you hooked up on an iExpand with movies on it, you could literally watch a movie from your flash drive. So it's pretty cool because it has a video player on it. So even if you didn't have, if you have an older device, it works really flawlessly. I really want Scandis to update this for the new phone, and then I won't have to show you the workaround for it. But, all right, so this is how to use it on an older phone. On a newer phone, it's a little bit different, and so I have to show you that. So like I said, I'm not gonna show you transfer speeds or any of the specs or anything. I just wanted to kind of show you how this operates and works. So I am gonna go take you to a screen recording on how to do this 
because I have to show you how to format it really quick and I also have to show you how to when you plug it in where you're gonna have to look for it and those types of things so we're gonna go to the laptop with some screen recordings put this all together and then we'll wrap it up at the back end. and uh, we're on the laptop I just want to show you really quick how to go ahead and format this drive so you can find it easily and so it'll work correctly on your device which means your apple device so for it to work correctly it does need to be in a certain format it's not going to work with the ntfs format so if it is already formatted to that then you need to switch it to an xfat and that's you can do that on your windows computer and you can be in any kind of fat format so fat 32 or xfat but you just got to go to your file explorer down here you can see that i already plugged it in so it says it's a usb drive e here uh, but we can just click on that or you can side click to get to your options here. So if you have a mouse or even on your trackpad, you can yeah, side click and you will get these options here. And then we just need to go to format. So then if you go to format, you can see that it's showing it's 119 gigs. It's in, it is currently in the NTFS and there's no label here for what the volume is. And so it's really good to go ahead and name it. If not, it'll just show up untitled. And some people miss that when you're in your Apple's options, which I'll show you a little bit later. So we're gonna go ahead and switch this to, here we go, you just drop this down and we want an XFAT. So we wanna go to XFAT and we wanna format to that. And I'm gonna go ahead and label this one Apple II because I have one already. So I'm gonna name it Apple II. And then we're going to go ahead and format this. Now, just make sure that if this is the correct drive that you're format, don't accidentally reformat your hard drive on your computer or something like that. Just make sure I know that this is a this USB drive E is the drive that I want to format. It's not my extra hard drive on my laptop or it's not my main Windows SSD. You know, I usually try to label all my stuff accordingly. That way I know what it is. So. It'll automatic. This one's just a blank USB drive. It's not my Epic Games. It's not my music. It's not my Windows. Everything's labeled accordingly. And so I know this one's going to be Apple II here in a second. So once you have that, you can go ahead and start. It's going to tell you everything is going to be erased on this and, you know, to make sure that you're formatting the right one. But we are, so I'm going to go ahead and OK. And I'm just doing a quick format. You can do a longer format if you really want to clear whatever was on that before. But if this is a brand new drive, you don't really have to worry about that. So we can just do the quick format option. So it is, now you see it is an XFAT. It's 119 gigs. It is going to be labeled Apple II. And we can go ahead and close this. We're good to go. So then I would just recommend on a Windows computer to always make sure you properly eject it. So you can eject it this way right here where it says eject with the, once again, a side click. Or you can go to your options here on your menu bar, and then you can go to the, the drives here, click on it, and you want to eject the expand flash drive right there. And we can go ahead and eject that. It disappeared, it says it's safe to remove, and we'll go ahead and unplug that. So the next option, I'm gonna show you how to whip this up really quick. We can close everything down, and I will show you how to do this on the actual iPad or iPhone, whatever device you want to be using it. All right, everybody, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and save files on your iOS device, iPad mini, iPad Pro, iPhone 15, anything with the USB type C, this is the way you're probably going to have to do it. Now, most of the time, if you had a lightning uh, scan disk, you could use the expand drive app and it would be very easy to use. And like I said, I showed you kind of earlier how that works, but this way you have to do it a little bit different. So a lot of people says it doesn't work. Yes, it doesn't work with the iExpand Drive app, but you can go ahead and switch files. You just have to do it through the app, the, the iOS through Apple here. So we have to go to our files here and you can see that I have it plugged in. You can see it's, there's the Apple II and I already made this little folder right here, but all you gotta do is hit, you know, and you can add whatever folders you want. And I made the storage folder, but see it's empty. So let's go ahead and put something in here. I'm just gonna go to my iPad and find some music files that I have. Uh, let's go, here's a some ceremony. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this Wildest Dreams. And then we wanna go ahead and save this file. So we go to the little arrow and now uh, you can copy and paste it or we can just hit save to files. 
That's the easiest way, in my opinion. And then you can go ahead and find your Apple II again, go to storage. We want to save it in this file, and we want to go ahead and save. And see, now it is saving that file, and it's saved on that device. And so we can eject that. Now, let's see if this is working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we'll go to this next one right here. We can go to this. Let's go ahead and copy it. It's copied. Let's close this. Go to Apple II. Go to storage. Let's see if we can paste it in here. Yep, it works. So we are able to paste that in there as well. And like I said, all we have to do is you click back this on and we can disconnect it from this and we will have all those files. Now you can do the same thing with pictures. So then we go back. Let's go. Let's see if I have some pictures. Now they don't have to be saved in your files. You can actually do this. Let's go back here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to, I don't think I have any pictures on here though. Let's say it looks like I have this deduced app picture. So say we want to save it, then we go to the same thing over here. To the deduced, we can go here. We can go to copy photo and we could paste it or we could hit the save to files here once again. Go to my Apple II. Go to storage, hit save, and there's your picture. So this picture is now saved in there too. So those are two ways to get that done for pictures and filed music. It'll only work on your MP3s, but other than that, uh, you won't be able to drop and drag like Apple Tunes library songs. You're not gonna be able to do that, but you can do any MP3 files that you do have on your iPad or whatever you know iOS device you have. So. All right, that was really quick tutorial on how to get that done. Hopefully that is helpful a little bit. And like I said, all you got to do is disconnect that drive and you can just pull it out. There's no eject or anything that you have to do. Eject it and you will be good to go there. So, all right, I'm going to go take you back to the video. And put my final wraps on this, it is going to be a little bit more. I just want to talk about, you know, each little item, little recap on everything just to let you know. So we did talk about the scan disc and the go. And I just once again, show you a little comparison on these. They do look nice. You can see the size difference. This is a go. This is the Lux. And this one is an expand and this is just the go. So this doesn't work with the expand app this does so you want to make sure that if you do want to use that on an older device like i said this is still working on anything with the lightning port it is still working and will connect to that app and you'll be able to use that app to get things done which i did like because that app is like an extra operating system where it can play videos it can show pictures it's very easy to transfer information vice versa to the phone or the device or to the uh, flash drive so uh, it's a great app it works well but like i said the new usb type c is not going to work on the app and at least i have not found a way to get that done so i wanted to point that out and also let anybody know if they found a workaround around that let me know that would be awesome put it in the comments below i'd love to see how to get that to work I haven't found an adapter that works like a USB type C to lightning, you know, reverse port or anything to, to get that to work. I, I haven't found it and I can't get it to work with the app. So if anybody knows a work around with that, let me know. If not, you can just do it the way that I showed you through the file management on the OIS. Uh, you can transfer information that way and I showed you guys how to do that. So very, very cool. Uh, just to give quick little specs on that, that the cards themselves are pretty average. They're not the fastest out there. You're gonna get your standard, probably 60 to 150 megabytes uh, read speed. And then you're gonna get about 10, they, they say 10 to 45 megabytes write speed, but I've had it jump all the way up to about 65 megabytes write. Uh, so I've had, but it does fluctuate a lot. It will jump up in between. It might be all the way up to 65, but it might go all the way down to 10 and then it might go to 20 and then it might average read speed around 30, you know, so it, or write speed around 30. So it just depends, but they're pretty average and they do fluctuate on the speeds while it's going. I have noticed that I have previous videos on kind of showing some of that. They're pretty average in that way, but I did love how the lightning and the app worked together to easily transfer information it was very very it worked good it worked good but i wish they would bring that back for the usb type c they still work but you have to use that file manager for them to work 
Another thing I wanted to point out is that adapter, uh, USB Type-C to just a regular USB adapter. This is a USB Type-2. The adapters work nice too, just to be very easy to work with other, like a laptop or whatever you want to plug this into. If it doesn't have a USB Type-C, uh, these adapters come in handy to help you out there. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is, of course, the old Lightning one right here. These work good. Like I said, they work great with the app. Also on these ones, I reverse it and it's nice to have an adapter, a USB type C adapter that I can plug this into my um, laptop. Again, cool little adapters and they work nice. All right, and the last thing is I am a big fan of micro SD cards and using them for my game gaming devices. And so ScanDisk has been a really good one for me. And so has Silicon Power. Uh, they're a great value for how many how much storage you get in them And so those are the two ones I would recommend if you guys are looking for those I'll leave some links for those scan disk and silicon power great value great prices other than that I think that's it. I just wanted to kind of wrap that up uh, the price points that you'll find these at Pretty average as well, but the goes are definitely a value if you're not worried about using that expand app and you're just using USB type C anyways the Go's are a great value. You can get 128 for like 22 bucks, all the way up to one terabyte for like 85, which is still a great price point for a one terabyte little mini flash drive that's USB Type-C. So I think those are great prices. The Expand ones are a little bit more expensive because they're supposed to work with the Expand app. Unfortunately, on the new iPhone 15 and some of the USB Type-C devices on iOS, it does not work with the app. And so, like I said, it, that's disappointing, but they still work. You can still transfer photos, MP3s, videos, but you have to use the iOS file system to get that done. And it will show up in that. And I showed you guys how to do that. Make sure it's the right format. Those types of things it has to be a FAT32 or an XFAT format and not the NTFS uh, Windows format. And so, yes. It, they will work, but you have to use that instead of the app. So hopefully that's not too confusing. Like I said, I think I tried to explain myself the best I can. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. I got tons more videos coming, all kinds of things. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you really, really soon on my next video.